What's up guys, Flashfire here. Today I'm bringing you the third and final part of our Age of Slash suspect laddering, laddery session kind of thing. Um, if I remember to put a link to a paste bin of this team down in the description, it will be there. If I forget, you can always go and check out the first episode of this if you want to try out this team on the ladder. But um, I think the ladder ends this weekend. I'm not entirely sure. I would imagine it runs for two weeks. I've never actually like done a suspect test properly before, so that's kind of... Yeah, anyway, so we're just gonna keep using this team. A problem that I am seeing is we're kind of earthquake weak, but we're just gonna go with it. Um, yeah, when I'm, when I'm, I'm probably gonna do some proper, like, I'm probably gonna do some proper, like, hardcore laddering after I finish recording this. I'll probably use a different team for that, but I wanted to try, I wanted to, st like, use Age of Slash and show it off a little bit in these sessions, just because, obviously, it's an Age of Slash suspect session, and we might not get to use Age of Slash again after this, so I thought I'd try it out. But anyway, this guy is obviously, well... Azelf is the most obvious lead in the world, but Lopunny is a better lead, so he's probably going to lead off with a Lopunny. Um, and honestly, either way, I kind of want to lead off with this, because like, if he leads a Lopunny, we just click King Shield and he can't do anything, he has to switch out. Uh, and if he leads Azelf, we can take hits from that thing for days. So, well, he'll probably carry knockoff actually, but we'll see. Um, anyway, yeah, he does lead off Azelf. And I'm just going to click Shadow Ball. I'm not going to fuck around. I'm not going to fuck around. We're just going to click Shadow Ball. Because honestly, it hits his whole team. Except the Sylveon, which he won't switch into this. Oh, it doesn't hit the Lopunny, I guess. But like I said, we deal with the Lopunny fine. So he's going to taunt me. And we're going to smack him with a Shadow Ball. That's going to put him down to Sash. That's pretty good. If I had Shadow Sneak right now, I'd be so, I'd be so fine. It'd be so fine. But he's probably going to pull shenanigans on me right now. Because uh, he stopped me from King Shielding, and that's terrible. He might even knock off or something. I'm just going to go out into Blastoise, uh, just because we, we don't really care. If he wants to explode as well, that's a thing. Uh, he actually... Ooh, okay, I see you, I see you, I see you. Um, so, this is not the best time for us to Mega. And... The, I, I always just end up switching this thing into Rotom. Because I know it can take a hit from it. I don't especially care about getting burned because my main thing I'm doing with this is just tanking hits and clicking Shadow Ball. So, yeah. But we, we're, just, we're just pretty good. We're living. We're chilling. We're just chill. We're chill. Okay, so he's going to go into the Talonflame. And... I mean... See, this is the thing. Like, Aegis Slash forces a bunch of 50-50s. Bunch of I get that. But in this position... Me, as the Aegis Slash user, I always overthink this. I always get this wrong. He's either going to Swords Dance or attack me. And I'm going to click Shadow Ball and he's going to attack me. Watch as he Flare Blitzes me and I die. Oh, he went for Swords Dance. Okay, I got it right for once. So we're going to smack him with the Shadow Ball, do huge damage. And I really wish I had Shadow Sneak right now, but I don't think... Uh, see, again, I just... The mind games get to me every time. I'm going to click Shadow Ball again. Because I really think he's either going to Roost... Okay, he, he Brave Birds. That... Oh, okay. Alright, fair enough. I mean, I was in sword form, so I guess I can't take a hit for shit. But that does get rid of the talent flame, which is nice. Um, what's he going to do now? Azel's really quick, actually. Could probably outspeed my whole team. Although, actually, Lopunny's better for him now. Actually, now that my age slash is gone, I kind of really don't have anything for Lopunny anymore. Which is dumb of me, but... Whoops. Oh, well. Uh, we're going to check... What are we going to do? I guess we check out this and just see what happens. I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh, he goes out to the Azelf. Okay, that's perfect. Because we can KO this with a U-turn. Um, actually, he just went for Taunt last time. He might be Scarf. No one runs Scarf, Azelf. Come on, now. Come on, nah. Well, if you are running Scarf, Azelf, you don't run Taunt. Like, what? Scarf? Ah, no, that's disgusting. That's worse than bloody Scarf Will-O-Wisp. That's like... Ugh. It's the worst thing in the world. Okay. Uh, Rotor... Like, ah, I've given him Switch Initiative now. That's an awful idea. Okay. Uh, Godzilla just gets bodied by his whole team, so we're going to go into that. Because it gets the sand up, and it means that... Um, it means that Excadrill can pull shenanigans in a minute. But obviously, he still has that Rotom, which will drink hits from Excadrill. We hardly do anything to it. So Lopunny is here, and he's basically going to get free Mega off right here. I have no. This is this is po po Poco no switching. Uh, we can't really. I mean, just like wait. I always get this wrong. Does Fighting resist Rock? I have no idea. I mean, I know he's going to kill me with a high jump kick anyway, but like, I just want to see if Stone Edge is. Yeah, Stone Edge is resisted. So we're just going to go for an earthquake. I always forget that. I have no idea why. I also always think that Fighting. Oh. I, oh, that's horrible. I also... That 
did nothing! I guess I'm not attacking Vested. I also always forget that um, fighting doesn't resist Ghost. I don't know why I think that it does every time. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me. But it doesn't matter that he's set up right now. It's actually quite nice because it means he's going to want to stay in against anything, really. Like, we have... Is this faster? Yeah, it's way faster. And this... D wait, does this get Mac Punch? Does... Wait. Wait! I'm pretty sure it doesn't. But if it does, then that's horrible. Uh, low pony. Let's check this shit. Okay, it doesn't. Good. We're fine. We're going to go into Dwayne. And, um, I think, honestly, we just, we click Earthquake. The, the Rotom can switch in all at once. I don't care. Uh, we just need to, we just need to hit this thing. Actually, 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 why are you so... Oh, I'm Jolly and not Life Orb, I guess. That's a thing. I'm Jolly Air Balloon. That makes sense. Whoops. <laughs> that was so lucky. Oh my god. <sighs> I pulled that out of my ass, but I'll take it. <laughs> my thing is, like, the Life Orb gives a huge power boost, but... I have so much Earthquake weakness on my team. I have four pokes weak to Earthquake, so I, I need this air balloon. Doesn't work on Age Slash, doesn't work on um, Tyranitar, so it, it kind of just has to be on Dwayne. Um, our power output is severely diminished, though, which sucks. Okay, so looking at his team, I need this to smack the Sylveon, and because i got the balloon intact, it would be great for smacking his Exca. So, um... I think I just go out to Zeus, maybe? Or do I? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't especially need it for his team. It can outspeed the Exca and Focus Blast it. But I think that might be Scarf Exca. Wow, that did a lot. Uh, I really think that might be Scarf Exca, so... Yeah. Um, what am I going to do? I guess I just click Thunderbolt. Like, if he wants to go into Exca, that's fine. We can see if it's Scarf or not. Plus, we get... Oh, he's Scarf Rotom! Oh! I see you! That's interesting. Okay, let's go out to Blastoise, because we know we can tank hits from you all day long now. We know it. We know it. Okay, we living. We living. Uh, is he going to go to Sylveon? Or is it too obvious? I think he might go to Sylveon. I mean, what happens then? If he goes to Sylveon... I think he's going to Sylveon. It's way too obvious. He's got to do it, right? He can't stay in with this, and he can't go into Exca. I hit all those notes, I don't care what you say. It's a terrible idea to have my own music in while I'm doing this, because I just I just end up singing along, and I have to cut it all out because it's awful. I'm going to stop. I need to stop. What even is this? I don't even know. Oh, it's Walk the Moon. Walk the Moon are great, by the way. If you haven't... <sighs> okay, I... <laughs> That's too much. Uh, I need to put Lifeful back on this. Fuck that. That's no damage at all. That's unbelievably low damage. Okay, where are you? We need... I don't care if we're hella Earthquake weak. I bet we're going to run into Earthquake all over the place next. Why do we have spe... That explains a... What? The fuck is going on with our Excadrill? Okay. Wh what? That explains a lot. Like, what the f- What are those EVs? How did that happen? I haven't touched this team since I built it other than to put the air balloon on. I'm putting the air balloon back on. Fuck that. What? That's ridiculousnessness. Okay. So... I'm so confused. Uh... Do I need this? Not really. He wants to click Hydra, that's fine. I really think he might click um, that other thing, though. So, what? I, I don't know how that happened to my EVs. I have no idea. Thing is, if he clicks Volt Switch, we get free hits off. If he clicks um, 
Hydro Pump, then that, I don't care, because we can go straight out into, um, we can go straight out into Blastoise and just, um, just, just, like, um, scold him, because th uh, there's no reason not to, like, we could, I guess we could Dark, or Aura Sphere would work, actually, because Aura Sphere would do more to this, and it would still hit the Exca for huge damage, so we're actually going to go for Aura Sphere, and wh how, how did this happen to me? Okay, oh, the rest of my EVs okay. Yes. What? Why does this not have full attack? What? Why? Why do you not get 252? Two? I don't know what's happened to all my EVs. I have no idea. So we're going to smack this Exca with a uh, Aura Sphere. Obviously, it would have been... Doesn't matter. Dead Exca drill. Okay. Now, the question is... Oh, it's forfeiting. We don't need... Oh, actually, it'd be offensive Rotom, so we could... Yeah, we could kill it. Easy. Easy mode. Okay, so now our EVs are fixed. What's our rating, actually? I haven't played this ladder too much. I've been playing a lot of the lower tiers to try and get to grips with them for Storm and Showdown and that kind of thing. So I actually recorded a session with, uh, not McCaddy, um, with Socrates yesterday. And um, that'll be going up tomorrow, I guess. Saturday? No, today's Thursday. It'll be going up on Saturday in a couple of days. Anyway, our rating is not great. Um, but yeah, that was in NU. So he was he was teaching me to NU because I'm bad at NU. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we're, we're going we're gonna to grab another battle. Uh, I'm going to try and do this for about... Half an hour, maybe? Oh, God, the threats. The threats are here. It's time. There is a serious... I. Oh, my God. Why don't I have an ice move? Like, Ice Shard sweeps this man's team. Oh, my God. Okay. So, this is so offensive. He's leading off with either the Garchomp or the Lando for sure. Uh, and with that in mind, I think I'm just gonna chuck this out, just cause, uh, we can tank hits and kill him. Yep, Lando. There it is. There it is! And we're gonna go for Scald. There's no reason not to. We can burn stuff. We hit stuff really hard. Um, I'm just trying to... Th no. Oh, actually, he might live a hit. My, uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Get out! Get out, Lando! I don't think he can Oko us at plus one. De oh. <laughs> That's disgusting damage. Oh my god. By the way, that's not at all how you play Lando. If I see anyone... That's terrible. Anyway, Superior. Is it worth preserving Blastoise? Um... I mean, either way, he's gonna go. He's gonna go for Leaf Storm this turn and get to plus two. That's what's gonna happen. And it's whether we want to switch something in. Actually, yeah. It, it's. I. I feel like it's a better play to leave this in. And let it die and then bring something in that hasn't been hit yet. I feel like that's a better play. In my opinion. Because it means that he, he's going to be a plus two whatever happens next turn. And this just means that the thing that I switch into it is at full health. That's just how I feel. Anyway. Uh, so we, we're just going to click Aura Sphere. Um, I know he's going to kill me. That's fine. This Blastoise doesn't do anything now. He has no hazard. Well, but looking at his team, I really don't think that Garchomp's going to have the hazards. So... Um, because he's just hella off. Oh, he's actually left. Okay, cool. Disconnect. Nice, nice. Nice and DC. Nice and DC. So, um, we'll cut to when this guy, uh, uh times out. Oh, no, he came back. He came back. It's fine. We're all right. All right. So, um, I don't know what I'm doing with headphones. Don't know, don't know, don't know. Um, I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess we check this out because it outspeeds. Oh, my God. Scarf Superior, though. Scarf Superior would be next level. Uh, we're, gonna, we're just going to go into this and... We threaten him out. Like, let's not let's not fuck around. We threaten him out. Uh, so we can go for a U-turn, I think. Even if he does... Even if, even if he's feeling ballsy and he stays... Why? Why would you... That's such a... I hate you. I hate you, guy. I hate you. Uh, we're just gonna go out to Aegislash. Just because we... Uh, don't make me laugh, Superior. Come on now. Let's Shadow Ball you. Come on and Shadow Ball. Actually, nothing resists Shadow Ball on this guy's team. Uh, we ate that up. Who are you kidding, Sapir? Age of Slash. Come on now. Age of Slash. I might need to put Shadow Sneak on this. But then we lose Pursue. Actually, we haven't seen any fucking Latties on this ladder at all yet. So. What's he, what's he doing? What's he doing to me? Do it to him. I mean, we get King Shield and then just live a hit. Like, we don't really live a hit off anything else on the team. So, we're just going to King Shield this turn so we can live another HP fire and then kill him. That's the plan. That's the plan. That's the plan. Kill him. Kill him. Uh, so, he's going to go for Hidden Power. And what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to click Pursuit. Because it'll kill him. And if he does switch out, he's dead. 
Uh, what was I saying a minute ago? Okay, he's not going to switch out, but that's fine. I'm just pursuit. Oh yeah, I might, I might, I might, I might swap pursuit for um, shadow sneak, just for utility. Like, there's so much stuff that we all that we've almost picked up the KO on, but haven't quite. Um, so again, mind games. I'm just not going to think about it. I'm just going to click it. I'm going to drop pursuit for shadow sneak. Um, because I feel like it's going to offer more utility, having used it for a couple of battles now. Uh, there's been so many occasions where Age Slash has not quite picked up the KO and Shadow Sneak would have been clutch as hell. He does just go for the Brave Bird this turn though. Um, kind of upsetting really. Could have dropped him, but never mind. And what are we going to do now? I mean, I mean, oh fuck. He wrecks me actually outside of the sand. Outside of the sand, Talonflame just destroys my soul. Okay, what we need to do right now is get the rocks up because that will allow Ex Excadrill to pick up the KO on um, Dragonite if it switches in. Um... But yeah, basically we just need to... If this Talonflame is going to kill me, that's fine. Uh, we just need to get Excadrill in the sand to get rid of this Talonflame. Um, yeah. Actually, that is, that is my only out to Talonflame, so I do have to preserve Tyranitar. Just so I can set that up later in the game. Because honestly, nothing else. Like, I'm pretty sure Victini gets oko by Brave Bird. Talonflame is such a threat, man. I hate it. I hate it so much. Okay, uh, if he's attacking, he's going for an Earthquake. Like an earthquake. Uh, how much does how much does X could do to? Um, oh wait, is this Mega? Oh shit! I've just given him Sand Force. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. 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 So we're not Life Orb. So we probably do about forty percent. Oh. And he he packs Fire Blood. Fuck off. Oh, no, we're in the sand. We're in the sand. <laughs> okay. He just destroys my soul with an earthquake. I don't think I can win this. If I had HP ice on Zeus, I'd have a chill. Actually, we can threaten him out. If he wants to go for an earthquake this turn, we threaten him out with Zeus. Uh, I know he can probably live a... Uh, he can probably live an HP ice, but... Um, I'm hoping he gets scared away. And I'm just trying to think if it's better. It's actually, but it's, mm, yeah, it's better to set up a sub on him because if that talent flame comes through, we can kind of deal with it a bit. I'm hoping he's scared out with the HP ice right here and we can get a sub up. If he's not, I think we just lose. Oh dear. He missed the Stone Edge. I kind of feel bad about that, but I'll take it. Like, um, I think, I think I'm going to have to write. Brilliant. Fo Can I spell please? There we go. Ooh! Plus plus two focus blast? Anyone? Oh, that one quite kill. Ah Wait, yeah, no, it's Okay. I think it's safer to just get little increments of damage on him. Except we miss the Focus Blast. That kind of just makes up for the, the the Stone Age miss, to be honest. Um, that seems fair to me. I just want to get the Sand to go away quite badly. So I'm going to switch in Godzilla this time. Because I don't want him... I mean, actually, Sand Force doesn't make too much of a difference. Here... Oh, fuck. <laughs> Jesus. Here is why... Um, we, we should have less Earthquake Weaknesses, because we're just getting wrecked by this Garchomp. Um, what are we going to do? I mean... I think... I th Again, I think we have to have the Sand up. I think... <sighs> what are we going to do? I think we... I think we sack Zeus to get a hit off on him. We sack Zeus, hit him with a Focus Blast, bring in... T-tar to get the sand up. But then we can't kill the Keldeo. I don't think we win this. I don't think we win this. Because this Mega Garchomp apparently is coming out of nowhere. I haven't seen one of these since like mid X. Okay. No, we definitely don't win then. We definitely... There's no way. There's no way. There's no way we win this. I haven't seen a Mega Garchomp since mid X and Y. But that's not the point. We missed two Focus Blasts and that's cost us the game. Um, we did, yeah, if we'd landed both those Focus Blasts, this would have been in range of fucking anything. We would have had the sand, yeah, it would have just been a good time. But unfortunately, that just isn't to be. He's going to take us out on an Earthquake right here. And, uh, that, that's just how it goes. Sometimes you get bad luck in Pokemon. I, I've, I had worse luck the other day, actually. I think I missed three Toxics in a row the other day. That's a 90% accurate move. Like, what? 
and I also missed two or three hydro pumps in a row in the same in the same like length of time. It was like five battles, and I did, it was horrible. Um, anyway, yeah, there's no way. There, there's just no way. Like we can we can probably kill this guard jump if we roll high. We can kill the guard jump. That's if we were adamant. Actually, I don't think we can even kill this. I don't think we can even two hit KO this. But um, yeah, it's it's over. It's over. It's over for you. But that's fine. You you can't win them all, you know. Uh, this does kind of suck though. I'm upset about that. Like even even I, I can deal with missing one focus boss, but it's like it's a seventy percent accurate move. It just pisses me off, you know. Like I swear it misses just as often as it hits. It's silliness. But oh well. Oh well. I'm chill. I'm chill. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna flip my shit. It's only one bit of hacks. It's fine. Yep, there's the damage, there's the Dragon Claw. Kills me next turn. We might roll. I think, actually, I think 49 was a high roll, actually. So, I mean, we could go for Iron Head Flinches. Let's do that. Let's go for Iron Head Flinches. Nope, never mind. Should have gone for Iron Head. But we didn't! That's why I suck. Alright, um... Oh, no, you know what we can do? We can flinch him with Zen Headbutt 17 times. It'll be fine. And we're going to land all of them. Actually, we probably are, because Victory Star makes you more accurate, right? Or is it just your teammates? It's got to be him as well, right? This Pokemon, yeah, yeah. So it actually has a 99 accuracy Zen Headbutt. Watch me miss it, though. <laughs> just to add insult to injury, I'm going to miss my 99% accurate Zen Headbutt. <laughs> Watch. Oh, no, never mind. So we smack him for 2%. Huge damage. Huge damage. I mean, just, just Talonflame. I actually... Uh, I'm not sure. Can he pick up the KO? Probably. Almost definitely. Like, if it's Bandit Talonflame, 100% he can pick up the KO. If it's not, it still probably can. Alright, so Talonflame, huge rocks damage, and Brave Blood kills. Watch. Now. What? 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 You had a guaranteed win and you didn't go for it. What's wrong with you? What did you go for? Oh, it's got... Oh, we lift. What did you go for? Like, seriously, did you just switch in Talonflame because you could? Because you knew you had a Scarfed Keldeo in the back and like, oh, 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 why not? I don't get it. You also have Extreme Speed in the back. Like, what's the point? What was your motive for that? That makes me so angry. What? Why? Why would you? Why would you switch in a talent flame like that and not click Brave Bird? It doesn't make any sense. All right. So we go into the battle. I'm seeing so much of this Excadrill Titar core. It's amazing. Okay. Um, Celebi and Lando are the leads. And I'm just oh, fuck it, fuck it, right? Fuck it, fuck it. I don't care. Uh, we're gonna throw. Out, we're gonna throw out. We're gonna throw out. Uh, Victini, which is actually going to be quite a uh, nice poke in this matchup because we have the four times effective U-turn on that Celebi. So, this is almost definitely Scarf, judging by his nickname and the fact that he led off with it. So, that's fun. Um, let's go out to Blastoise right now. And he pulls a double as well into his Excadrill. Nope. That's not a good thing for him. I mean, we can click Scold, but uh, Celebi. Like, what... What do we... What... I, actually... That just switches into Celebi, right? It'll get rocks up, but who gives a damn, right? We just... I mean, if he is SD, then I'm upset, but burn? 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 No, okay. I mean, it doesn't really matter. He has an actual cure anyway, but... If he has something to hit Victini, I'll be thoroughly surprised. Uh, like, seriously? Victini's just like, nah. You're alright, son. Nah, mate. Nah, mate. Four times effective U-turn. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's go. Um... I'm gonna like this Victini a lot this game, I feel, because every time he brings in the Celebi, we can just check it with this. I'm, I mean, I'm pretty sure we just stop it, we just counter it, right? Uh, why? His nicknames upset me a lot. Anyway, uh, pff, that thing, I mean, we could go, I mean, I, I see no reason not to go to Blastoise and just click Scold again. Like, we can deal with that Celebi all day long. So, yeah. And we know that we... Two hit KO through a calm mind, but I mean we Oko without a calm mind, so it's fine. We just click Skull. I'm considering I saw when Mega Mogwai did his session, he was running Hydro Pump over Skull. I'm not sure how much I would like that or not, but I I feel like it'd be cool to try. Why? Why would you crit me like that? Also, why would you leave a Lando in? 
I guess I might have overpredicted and clicked Dark Pulse, but I have no reason to do that when um, 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 the thing, you know, with the stuff. Uh, right, okay, X is going to give it to you, fine. If he's X, I click Dark Pulse. If he's Y, I also click Dark Pulse. So I'm clicking Dark Pulse. I want to, again, this doesn't switch into anything. I want to leave it in because if he were X and he wanted to get a Dragon Dance up, I would have damage on him. That's the that's the play there. Anyway, he does turn out to be Y. And we could go into Dragon Dance. And we might even be able to take him out. We might even be able to snag the KO with a V-Create. That might be a thing. Alternatively, we just go into Zeus and click Thunderbolt. Actually, this has D special defense. This has D special defense. Um, I think it might even live a Thunderbolt. Uh, nope, never mind. <laughs> I'm full of shit. Never mind. Uh, let's let's do that. Let's go into Zeus. We see the T-Tail so that we so we know that that is uh, Sand Rush Exca rather than Scarf Exca. So I'm not afraid of him switching into it on my Thunderbolt. Although actually, I'm not sure if um, Focus Blast. Well, we won't land the Focus Blast. Focus Blast definitely pick up the KO. Not that we'll land it, but that's fine. Um, we're gonna go for a Thunderbolt. The reason that I was like, <sighs> I hate it when people do this with their nicknames. It just upsets me so much, it's like, you have to pretend like you're the other one to do well. Like, I don't get it. I don't get it. it that, no, the worst thing that happens is when people switch into something, and they clearly did it on purpose, because they have something that deals with you that you won't be expecting, and they go, oops, misclick. It's like, dude, come on. Come on, man. It's like, you have a scissor in, and they switch into Mega Gardevoir, and they're like, oh, no, sorry. And then they click HP Fire. It's like, what, why? What's the point? What are you doing? Anyway, he is going to switch in this thing. Focus Blast. Yeah. You may get the... I mean, you might be Scarf. Ooh, you might be Scarf. You might actually be Scarf. Your nickname might be right for once. Which would suck for me. I'm just going to click Focus Blast. Fuck it, right? Actually, this deals with his team really nicely. If it is Scarf, I'm, I'm upset. <laughs> okay, so he does switch out into Celebi. Um, which I guess walls me. That's fair. Like, yeah. Yeah. I get it. I do get it, uh, but I have no. There's no downside to me switching this in, uh, just because he is going to go out into his Keldee. Oh, he's going to go out into his. Oh yeah, of course. This is Sand Rush. I completely forgot. I completely forgot he had the Sand Rush in the back. So, um, well, how do we deal with this? We don't. Is the answer. Actually, let's go into Dwayne. Yes, great success. Ah. <laughs> Get wrecked, friend. The balloon. The balloon in the mirror match is just amazing. Right. That Charizard, maybe? Maybe Charizard? Because it gets rid of the sand and it is immune to the earthquake. Is the Charizard coming in? Do I see a Charizard? Yeah! Rock slide. Get out. Awesome. <laughs> and he leaves. Okay. Right, well, I think that's going to be... I think that's going to be the end of the session, guys. If you've enjoyed it, please remember to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, check out the... the I was about to say team builder. There wasn't a team builder for this. Uh, make sure you use the team. It's pretty cool. Um, and just, just yeah. Uh, tell me what you guys are voting in the suspect test down below. I want to know. I want to know what you guys are voting. I will personally be voting yes. I don't think it changes the meta that much. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one.